Hi, it's Michael Zapersky from ConsultingSuccess.com and welcome back to the Consulting Corner, where consultants learn how to consistently attract their ideal clients and significantly increase their fees. Today, I want to share with you an action that you can take and that you can start to implement into your business and if done consistently and frequently, will have a really profound impact. Not only will it help you to really position yourself as a greater authority and expert in your market and in front of your ideal clients, it will also help you to attract more of your ideal clients. So what am I talking about? Well, I work with consultants all around, all around the world in all different industries. And one thing that I see consistently is that too often consultants don't demonstrate, they don't communicate. They don't visually show the results that they've generated for their clients or even for their past employers. And that is something that really is a lost opportunity. If you generated value, if you've created value for your clients in any form or fashion, you should be communicating that. Now, whether that is creating a case study, with or without a specific client's name, the more specific that you can be, the better. But case studies are a great way to demonstrate your expertise, right? Look at what was the situation in the project? What was the challenge? What was the problem? How did you overcome it? What were the results that were generated? What has that meant for the client? Case studies are a really powerful marketing tool, yet too often consultants don't use them. So ask yourself, can you implement or create case studies in your business and then share them with your ideal clients. You can also take screenshots. So if you're very active on social media and maybe you've even seen this done by others, but you can take a screenshot. If someone leaves a, a good comment or feedback, a testimonial, a reference about you or your service or your company, take a screenshot of that, share that, right? That's public information now. You can then use that to further enhance uh, and really to support your credibility as an expert in the market, right? Rather than you talking about how good you are, let others do the talking. And the, the best way to do that is to demonstrate results, to have others talk about how great you are or what you've achieved or how you've been able to help them to solve a problem or to get the result that they want. So we've talked about case studies, right? Taking screenshots of anything that's in social media that helps you to support that but also videos, right? If you can make a video of your clients uh, providing a testimonial or a reference or sharing a case study or a result, that can be very powerful. You can also do audio interviews, right? Where you call your client, whether it's a past client or a current client and get them to talk about, get them to share their experience of working with you and what kind of results and ROI did they see from that experience, right? If they can uh, talk and share what a great ROI that you've helped them to achieve. That's very powerful because you can then take that and show that to other prospective ideal clients. So we've talked about videos now that you can do, uh, audio interviews, screenshots, case studies, also LinkedIn uh, recommendations. So LinkedIn has a great feature where you can go in, you can uh, select your uh, the contact or contacts uh, and then send them a customized message where you request that they give you a recommendation. And that's really powerful because not only is it then added to your LinkedIn profile, but you can then use that in your marketing materials, on your website, brochures, because again, it's now public information. So all of these things help you to demonstrate your results, your expertise, your authority, your credibility the more specific that you can be with all of this. So rather than just having a client say, it was really great working with Jill or with John, they're really nice uh, people and they helped us to, you know, to grow our business. If they can be specific and say, they helped us to reduce our costs by 20% and to grow our revenues by 40% within 18 weeks or whatever it might be, right? That's much more powerful, it's much more specific. So the more specific the reference or testimonial uh, or result or statement or case study that you can create, the better. Now, there's one final piece to this, and it's really important. And that is not only 
should you start to collect and to create with your clients this type of information, you also want to promote it. Because if you just collect it, but if you don't share it, no one will see it. So it's really important that you promote all of this. Promote it on your website, on your LinkedIn profile, in your marketing materials, in your newsletters, in any other emails. When you are reaching out to prospective clients, use it as part of, part of your marketing. When you're sending out proposals, you can use it to support proposals. Uh, or when, if a potential client's, client wants references, you can show them all of this. I've been doing this for years and it's been very, very powerful and beneficial to my own business. And I know that if you do it, you'll also find it to be very powerful and beneficial to yours.